Hey y'all, welcome back to our family. I'm Victoria, if you're new here. I don't know who this is over here. I'm Alexandra. I, I just picked her up from off the side of the road. I don't know who that is. You know exactly who I am. Don't do that. We have been out garage sailing. Sailing? Garage what? sailing. Yeah, I think that's garage a Garage sail. Gar so. but, but if you're in the act of doing it, it's garage sailing. Okay. I don't think I don't know if that's a word, but it's a word now. It was five dollars for all your windows. Oh, that's even better. So you only spent thirty dollars, and I spent thirty dollars. Really? That was my mom. Why are you mocking me? I don't care. We got some really good stuff. Yeah. You hear my armpit? Not armpit, my your bracelet. <laughs> bracelet, check it. Anyway, so anyway. We are headed back. Mom got her truck to go back and pick up all of our stuff because we really didn't think we were going to be buying that much furniture. But the guy was selling things at such a good deal, I just couldn't pass it up. We're about to unload all the stuff we just bought. I got this rod iron table. I just need to find a piece to go on top. I got all these windows for $5. I'm going to use these windows out in the chicken coop because we're going to cut some holes in it for ventilation. I guess that's all I got. Oh, I have one more piece. We got to go pick it up. It's coming together. It looks a hot mess and like a hoarding situation, but it's going to look great once everything is together. This would be a cute thing for plants. What? This thing. That's what I said, I wanted that. And you said, mm. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I didn't see what it was. This could go on top of the black table. Good. Dressing, quit being nosy. How much for that metal shelf? Uh, I let it go for $8. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Just sell us this entire area. <laughs> you made some room off of us. There you go, I know it. I get so excited when we go out treasure hunting that I forget to film, because I'm like, <laughs> This is what I bought that we had to go pick up for the second round. And then they had, he had these $10 for both of them. So five bucks each. I'm gonna go work on this fence so I can get all this stuff put together and not just hoard it underneath our carport. It has actually been a week <laughs> since the last clip you saw. We got so sick. I don't know what kind of stomach bug is going around. It put my dad down and then I got sick and then the baby got sick and it was just insanity in our house. Alexandra luckily did not get sick. She went and stayed with our mom because she was terrified of getting sick. She definitely has like a puke phobia. So she was avoiding us like the plague, which I don't blame her. It was pretty terrible, whatever that was. So I wanted to give you guys an update on the fence. Now that it is finished, I did finish it and did not film it. I kind of was meekly out here, like barely had any energy, but was determined to finish this fence. This is what it looks like. So I got these pallets from a local feed store and then I went through and put chicken wire on the back of them. For those of you that didn't watch our last video, that section is gonna be for the bunnies. This section is gonna be for the chickens. Hey, Bun Bun. These are all new skills that I have learned from YouTube. I have never built a fence before or really know what I'm doing, but I am determined to do it. <laughs> Update on the chicken house. Got a platform built. These are also out of pallets and some plywood and laid it down so that the shed is up and level and off the ground. Haven't done anything in here yet. Oh, except Amazon finally did send me the panel that was missing on this shed. So this is gonna be the coop. I have someone that is coming to help me cut windows out of here for ventilation. These are the windows I'm gonna put in. They're actually, we got those at the garage sale, so. Um, these boards here, I'm hoping to do a run, like a covered chicken run on this side. I have also decided to recruit some help for the main fence going around the garden because I definitely was way too ambitious in the short amount of time that I have. The lesson that I have learned from this is I definitely should have started the garden fence in the fall. Could have taken my time and done it and saved a little bit more money instead of having to hire some guys to come and help me. 
put this fence together um, because my seeds are sprouting. I need to get them into the ground, but I don't want to put them in the ground because I don't have a fence around my garden. And there were literally like five deer in our backyard last night. Chicken shed is almost complete. I just need to get the laying boxes in there. I got to get the chicken run up, the roosting bars, um, what else? The windows cut out of it and then put some bedding down. I just come out here and drink my coffee every morning and envision what this is gonna look like when it's in full bloom this summer. And it's just really exciting. I have a lot um, going on in my personal life and just being outside with the chickens, the rabbits, the garden, it's just so healing. These little guys are growing so fast. I did get in four bantams, got a silky, but she did not make it. Mm -mm. What? They're all over me. Well, it's a dirty job. We're supposed to get dirty. More dirt, like that much. Oh, a ton more. Yeah, like a ton more. We want big, beautiful cucumber plants. I had to reseed a bunch of our plants because I overwatered them and they died. It feels so good outside today. Uh oh. What? Oh, I put holes in the bottom. They have too much water, they die. Are you gonna be excited to eat the cucumbers? I don't even like cucumbers. What about watermelon? Yeah. And we planted um, cantaloupe too. You like that? I love that. Yeah. What else did I plant? Green beans. Ooh, I love green beans. I know, that's why I planted them. Do you think this is fun? Sure. Would you rather be inside watching YouTube? I was going to. Good to be outside and get your fingers dirty. I feel like going to look for worms now. Why do you like to go and look for worms? I don't even know. Well, when we um, plant these in the ground out there, you'll be able to go and look for lots of worms. I hope these make it. I feel like they're my little babies. Oop. Good job, that's a good one. You don't like digging in the dirt? I don't mind. Oh man, I just broke them off. Should move it? The baby alarm, the baby's awake. Well, I am currently editing this video and realized we didn't say goodbye. <laughs> My baby ended up waking up and I had to go get her and then feed everybody lunch. So we still have lots of plants that I need to repot and it is a gross rainy day today. Hopefully it clears up. Also finally have a fence going up around our garden so we can hopefully get all these plants in the ground soon. Thank you guys so much for being here and hanging out with us. We truly appreciate you. Remember to stay weird and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!